Good morning, people. Good morning, people. Good morning. Wherever you are viewing this video, I welcome you to this critique. And I'm happy that you have joined us. I should say join me for this another unsolicited bit of commentary on another real life situation. I admit up front that I know that not all persons are interested in the thoughts I have to share. I can't fight them. But what I do know is that for each video that I present that you skip over because in your mind you think it can't be anything interesting you are missing out on something something that could have very well made a change or a difference in the way you look at life and your relationship with Christ all right so <clears throat> welcome to those of you who have taken the time to open this video I am happy that you have done so and I want to share a little bit in this presentation about you could call it the big brother syndrome you know or the big brother reality that's not to be the title of the video but it has something to do with that as a as a man that was born in the island of jamaica i remember that as a child school age primary school age and so on I had to walk home from school, walk to school. And you know, as a school child, you spend the day at school. So you get exposed to bullies, yes? Persons who saw themselves as being rougher than you and able to rough you up and maybe take away what belongs to you, push you aside. And these kind of people would not expect any kind of retaliation from you. But the moment, as a child, you are able to stand up and say, if you touch me, I'm going to tell my big brother or my big sister. Or you are able to say, touch me again and see if I don't tell my parents on you, whether it be father or mother. That usually makes a difference because the bully does not want to face retaliation. The bully likes to, the typical bully that is, likes to know that what he or she does is done and there is not going to be any repercussions all right so i want us to look at this in a broader sense we would say this whenever we were face to face with a bully like i just um elaborated just now and this would apply to whether we are at school or on the road or elsewhere if you can remember you may have said may i go tell my father what you just do to me or touch me and see if me not make my big brother or sister beat you up or mash you down, etc. etc. Can you remember being in any situation like that? Those of us who grew up in Jamaica. For the rest of the people watching, that's how we did it in Jamaica. First, because the family unit back then was strong and united. You know. Now I ask the question, is the family unit as united and strong today? Question for you to answer in your silence. Do you have any bucketive, anybody that you can confidently run to and report to them whatever is happening in your personal life? If you do, I would say good for you. If you have such a person who will come to your defense, good for you. Now let us open this discussion up to a wider um, sphere now. Transfer that family unity and strength to a broader reality, which is the reality that we are all children within the family of God. Hmm? I might have taken a bit long to get to this, but this is what this video is about. We are all children in the family of God, right? We all live in a real world where there are bullies. Like the bullies we faced as children while we were growing up. Our bully 
And this one bully antagonizes every child of God. Our bully is the devil himself, along with his hellish host of operatives. But if we are closely knitted into the fabric of our godly family, we have words for him and his operatives when they come, don't we? We can shout, I am going to tell my big brother on you if you touch me, or if you touch me again. We can do that. Now we may not be aware, but we may not be aware of it. But we all have somebody that we can run to. Yes. And guess what? The devil know that person only too well. That person is our big brother. Our big brother in this family of God is none other than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And don't we all know that Jesus, our big brother, second member of the Godhead, has already conquered Satan? Don't we know that the devil is a defeated foe? Yes, that is the reality we are in. So there is no need to feel afraid of the bully that comes. The devil knows that Christ, the devil knows Christ, and they have an eternal history together in which the devil has been defeated already. Yes, he knows that he is defeated, but he hopes that we are not aware of it. That's how he's operating. But let me take you even a little further. Whenever we are approached by the hosts of hell, there is something that we can do. We can go to the other person that he is trying to get us to sin against and tell the person what he is attempting to do. And I wanted to excuse the example that I'm going to use, but it fits in with me being a male. So, for example, let us say the devil places the temptation in your way to gaze at a particular female because he happens to know your history and your weakness for females where you are a male, or your weakness for males where you are a female. I am saying instead of going through and sinning, how about telling the person that he wants you to sin with about your weakness? Let the person know up front. Huh? Tell the person about the devil's attempt to get you to sin with them and ask that person to pray for you about the situation. Of course, I know that calls for real maturity in our world where privacy seems to reign supreme. But if you approach the person, tell them what the reality is and ask them to pray for you and pray about the situation, what can the devil do when he has been exposed? He can't do anything but leave you alone. Amen? Bullies usually back off when they discover that you have a big brother or sibling or a defensive parent to whom you will immediately turn to report what he is attempting to do in your life. Bullies everywhere, including the devil. So there are two things that we can do and really should do. First, tell your big brother about your situation. So you pray to God, talk to Jesus about it. Don't make the mistake of keeping it a secret. 
That is what the devil wants you to do. And secondly, approach the person you are being tempted to sin with. In case of sexual sin, or if you are being set up to sin against another person in other forms of unrighteousness, approach the person and tell them how the devil has been trying to create a situation between the two of us or between the two of you to cause discord between the both of you. Do that and watch the devil back off. I guarantee that he will because he does not want to be exposed. He does not like being exposed at any time. Am I correct? As adults, thinking about what I am saying. Can you relate? If you can, my people, wherever in the world you are, please share this bit of encouragement, unsolicited as it may be, with as many of your friends as you feel impressed to share it with. Alright? This is D's Critique. Yes. And I am Emmanuel Shield. As usual, by the grace of God, I will see you soon. Stay safe and stay where you can receive the blessings of God. Blessings to you.